most of the students and researchers find it hard to differentiate between an abstract and a summary and often write the same content in both of these. So in today's video in very simple terms you will learn what is the importance of writing an abstract and summary, what things should be mentioned while writing each of these and similarity and differences between them. At last I will mention one biggest mistake that most of the students and researchers make while writing an abstract or a summary that I am sure you will not make next time. Both abstract and summary is a shortened version of the whole research document and follows the same sequence of contents written in the thesis or research paper. Aim of both of these is to make the readers and evaluators acquainted about the work without investing too much time reading the entire thesis or the article. Research committees, examiners and evaluators judge you and your research based on these documents. Therefore, one should know how to write a perfect abstract and a summary. An abstract is a very concise summary of the work. It is usually a paragraph of less than 300 words which is present at the beginning of your thesis or research article. The abstract of all the published manuscripts can be freely accessed even if the journal is paid. If the reader finds the abstract interesting, he or she may read the entire paper. So take time to write a perfect abstract. Abstract briefly covers the most essential aspects of the work, for example, the background of the work, problem or the knowledge gap, research purpose, method or the approach followed, key findings and the conclusions. One of the interesting thing about the abstract is that although it is present at the start of the document, it is written only after completing the whole document. For more details, you can watch my video on how to write a perfect abstract. Summary on the other hand is present at the end of the thesis or is asked separately. Similar to the abstract, it is also a shortened version of the whole work but a little more detailed. To write a summary, read the entire article or thesis and note down the most important information from each section. First mention the background of the work in a paragraph, the limitation, rationale of the study and the objectives. Objectives are not mentioned in an abstract. Then write a paragraph about what methods you followed and what were the key results and interpretation that you want should be emphasized. What new you found and what subsequent studies needs to be done. At the end, you can mention references you cited in the text, but in abstract you do not cite papers. Summary should ideally be 2 to 3 pages long comprising of 1000 to 2000 words, but it is not mandatory. One common mistake most students make to frame an abstract or a summary is they copy paste the section of manuscript as such. But when they do that, they are just repeating the same content again and again, which does not sound good to the readers. Sometimes it breaks the normal flow of the passage, but rather I would suggest you to read the entire content and rewrite in your own words. Also, analyze what information is relevant and important for an abstract or summary and what content to be avoided. So that's all for the today's video. If you learned something new or if you know some essential key points that I missed, do mention in the comment or email me at explorebio at yahoo.com. You can check out my other videos on research and publishing, techniques, genomics, markers and immunity. And finally, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.